Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to an overdue episode on our mate Habib Narmagomedov Alhamdulillah, I know you got this, they don't like this Just before his fight, which is tomorrow Tomorrow night, I'm gonna smash your boy guys What on earth is our brother doing on stage? You can't tell by his dress code, but you can tell by his character He hold the door open for a stranger he share his food with his neighbor He's got the best of manners Life managed by the best of planners He doesn't swear when he talks He keeps his head down when he walks He'd rather spread love than spread hate He'd rather forgive than take revenge Considers humanity as family Now Islam tends to get bottled in with the other religions but you gotta realize that Islam is totally different mate. If you bought a self-assembly cupboard or a shelf you normally get an instruction manual with it and let's face it that instruction manual is enough to turn hairs on our head grey, our blood pressure to go through the roof and having something as close to a nervous breakdown as physically possible mate. And all of that just from trying to figure out the instructions on an IKEA shelf. If you got somebody that's there that knows what they're doing, it makes the job very easy. So likewise, we are like that IKEA cupboard mate, yeah? How do we function? What do we do to have a successful life? Well, Allah or God has sent an instruction manual, the Quran. He hasn't just left out that, he has now sent somebody that can explain the instruction manual to us, demonstrate it to us, so our job is made that bit more easier. In an exam or in school, we get in trouble for copying people. But here God is saying, look, I'm sending you an individual, just copy him. Yeah, that's right, just copy him and you will have success in this world and in the hereafter. And then some people still have the nerve to say, Oh mate, God's made it so difficult. What you been smoking? I think people pretty much know that Muslims don't tolerate anything when it comes to the Prophet peace be upon him. That begs the question, who was the Prophet? But don't ask that question because then you're just gonna get biographical details. You should be asking who is the Prophet to the Muslims and then you will realize that he is the personification of human virtue to us. He was a living, talking, breathing, Quran for us, yeah, an embodiment of that book and his teachings have been preserved in something called the Sunnah and one of those teachings is to sit down and drink. Now to some of you guys you might be like what? But from the smallest things in our life to the biggest things, the Prophet peace be upon him and his life is there, documented for us. So all Habib Naragomedov was doing was doing what the Prophet peace be upon him did himself and told us to do which is to sit down and drink. Now yes, some of you might be able to say yo, there's this scientific benefit and that scientific benefit. Of course, there's many scientific benefits to this, yeah? Uh, but science is subject to paradigm shifts, new observations and of course fresh interpretations of data. But Islam is divine, yeah? It doesn't undergo paradigm shifts. And many a times when our lives go wrong, it is because we are not following practices of the Prophet peace be upon him who has been sent as a guide. And if you want to know how he sat, how he talked, what he ate, what he drank, there's a special book called Shama il Tirmidhi. And those of you that are like, that's too complicated for me mate, I just want to know the basics of Islam. Well, a thinking person's guide to Islam might be the right deal for you mate. And what made this even more brilliant is the fact that Habib is on a world stage. The world's eyes are on him and he took the time to sit down, drink water and show people a simple, a simple practice of the Prophet peace be upon him. So if somebody with the fame and the wealth and the strength of Habib is finding solace in the teachings of Islam, imagine what you and I can attain from Islam as well. So let's take a leaf out of Habib's book at the very least, next time you're drinking water, sit down and drink water and learn different sunnahs of the Prophet and see how your life breaks out of the cocoon and turns into a butterfly just by obeying Allah as shown by the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let's leave it there guys until next time. Send me location. 
Assalamualaikum